friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday friends, it's Friday, it's the start of a weekend and it is another way in day. I'm going to be sharing with you how my week went, talk to you a little bit about the WW workshop topic and of course share this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited for another Friday weigh-in, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know to keep putting out these weigh-in videos every single week. Also, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, we'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do post a weigh-in video every single Friday. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. That way you know exactly what you should be eating macronutrient-wise and calories every day to see success. If you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Head on over, join us there. We'd love to have you join that community as well, are all down in the description box. So without further ado, let's jump in to this Friday weigh-in. I hope you guys had an absolutely fantastic week. I had a pretty good week. It was a little chaotic. It was busy, but that seems to be par for the course around here these days. But overall, I had a good week. I spent a lot of time with Palmer because poor Troy worked a lot of hours this week. He ended up having to pick up a couple of other routes. He delivers milk for a local dairy, and so he had a couple of over 15 hour days. So I had a lot of Palmer time, which was great. He's growing up so quickly. He's so much fun. And luckily him and Lola are best friends, so they keep each other occupied pretty well during the day. But as you know, anytime you have a puppy or a toddler, they just require a lot of time and attention. So that took up a big chunk of my week, but I was still able to go to Jazzercise three days and I ended up having to go three days in a row, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So let me tell you, by the end of Saturday, I was so sore that I need that entire week to recover and go back on this next Thursday. But going to Jazzercise really is my saving grace. It just gives me a little bit of time to myself. I get to see my friends and of course get a really good workout in. As far as tracking went, it went fantastic. I'm still in the mix of my June challenges. Number one, I have a protein challenge and I have nailed my protein goal every single day. Even on the days that I went over my calories, I still nailed my protein goal and I also have a tracking goal. So I have been a tracking master. I've tracked in the WW app, I've tracked in my Lose It app, I've tracked every single day, good or bad. I would say that my eating this week was pretty good. Again, I would say maybe 80% on track, 20%, had a few little slip ups during the week, but overall I'm happy with how my week turned out activity wise just in my day-to-day -day life and as well as tracking. But before we jump into this week's weigh-in, let's chat a little bit about this week's WW topic, which is all about sleep. Not just getting enough sleep or getting quality sleep, about setting your bedroom up for sleep success. It's important, at least to me, that my bedroom is a little bit of an oasis or a little bit of an escape. I like to keep my bedroom nice and cozy, so I look forward to going to bed at night or spending a little bit of time relaxing, reading a book, or watching TV. TV before bed. I just want my bedroom to be a place that I look forward to spending time in. It's important that it's tidy, that the decor gives me that comfortable vibe, and that it is set up for me to have a solid night's sleep, meaning my bed is made, my sheets are clean, a candle is lit, my air purifier is on, and my bedroom is just ready for me to enjoy spending time there. So let's think about our bedrooms and what is important to us in our bedroom. Do you like your bedroom to be be really dark, quiet, have a neutral or a pleasing scent, a cool temperature, a comfortable mattress and pillow, and soothing 
homey decor. Which of the items on this list are important to you when it comes to your bedroom? Every single one of these is what I want in my bedroom. I like it to be nice and cold when I sleep. Like I mentioned, I enjoy it smelling good, my bed being made, a comfy, cozy pillow, and a soft, warm blanket. These are all things that make me excited about going to bed and spending time in my bedroom, making it more of an oasis than just a place to sleep. If there's some items on this list that you desire in your bedroom, make a list of them, ranking them from most most important to least important and focus on that one item that falls at the top of your list. Maybe it's that pleasant scent. If that's what you desire in your bedroom, think about purchasing an oil diffuser or some candles, whether they're lavender scented to help you sleep or fruity scented to make your bedroom smell fresh and vibrant, or maybe even a bakery scent so that it smells just absolutely decadent in your bedroom. Make a list, start at the top and work your way down until your bedroom is the oasis that you've always wanted. Once you you have that oasis set up, here's some tips to help you get some good quality sleep. Tip number one is dim the lights about an hour before bedtime. Make it comfortable, cozy, a little darker than normal. That will help your mind and your brain settle in for your night of sleep. If you like your room dark, use an eye mask or blackout curtains to help your bedroom be as dark as you desire. I have a hard time sleeping if there's any light, so we have blackout curtains that make a huge difference in whether or not there's any light coming into my bedroom. Tip number three is play calming sounds. Whether that be some music or a sound machine, play something that puts you in the mood for sleep. And number four is wash your bedding, your sheets, your comforter, your pillowcases on a regular basis. I wash mine once per week. That's a great place to start. There's nothing better than crawling into bed with clean sheets. And tip number five is lower the temperature in maybe just your bedroom or your house overall. The most ideal temperature at night is between 60 and 60 seven degrees. We keep our house between 66 and 68 all the time and I love it to be cold when I'm sleeping so that I can snuggle up in my favorite blanket and of course with all three of my fur babies. So think about how you can turn your bedroom into an oasis and then use these five tips to get more quality sleep. As we know, sleep plays a big part in our overall day-to-day -day life experience, but also plays a huge part in our weight loss. So make sure you're getting in your Z's. So now let's jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I mentioned, I was able to go to Jazzercise three times I've been tracking, I've been eating my protein, and I've been on track food-wise 80% of the time. So when I stepped on the scale today, I am exactly the same. I didn't gain, I didn't lose. I took a look at my cycle tracker. I do track my cycle in the Flow app on my phone. I will go ahead and put here on the screen the spelling of the app. I love it. It's just a great way to track your cycle. I'm days away from starting my cycle. I'm generally a little bit heavier leading up to my cycle, so that explains why I maintain my weight this week, but I look at maintain maintenance as a huge win. I will take it, especially considering that I'm a bit sore from working out yesterday and then going to work out today. That plays a big part in my weight loss as well. So my weigh-in wasn't maintained, which like I said, in my book is a huge win. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain, did you lose? How are you doing when it comes to tracking, eating your protein, if you're taking part in either of those challenges on my Facebook group, and how's your sleep? Are you going to make some changes to your bedroom? to get better sleep quality. I can't wait to hear from you guys down in the comments. Moving into this next week, I'm going to be tracking, eating my protein, and doing a little bit better with my food, higher than that 80, 20%. So this was my final weigh-in for the month of June because I weigh in on Fridays, which puts me at into July for my next weigh-in. So I will put here on the screen my total loss for the month of June. Not a ton, but it's still a loss overall, which is all that matters to me because the scale is not the be all end all for me. It's more about living a healthy lifestyle and eating as much as I can to still see the scale move in the right direction. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to head over and join us on my Facebook group. We do tons of super fun challenges, so head on over and join us. Happy Friday and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.